sitting and she says, oh, well, two of the guests, they can put it on their car and everybody can cash app them and they can deal with the bill because I'm not worried about that. I'm the birthday girl. I heard it, but everybody around at the table act like they didn't. And I was completely not worried because again, my bill is paid for, tipped and everything. I'm just kind of waiting on my homegirl. When you go out to eat, make sure everybody's about their paper. You understand? Because when you got a party of 20 or more, oh baby, you already know that bill gonna be expensive, right? But that being said, this got to do with a, a dude who got a call from his friend, not his girlfriend, just a regular friend. Asked him to go out to eat. They go out to eat and things went haywire when that bill came. Let's see how this is about to play out. Also, I'd like to give a big shout out to Jamie Tani. This is her content from her channel. For those who don't know, make sure you go check her out, all right? So listen, if you like reactions like this, consider hitting the like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. Let's go, baby. Let's see how this is about to play out. So I get invited via my homegirl to go to this girl's dinner. I don't know her like that. I think I met her once through my homegirl a while ago. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go because you're inviting me. So I go, I get the girl a little gift or whatever. When I pull up, the first thing I realize is, first of all, everybody's on time. And second of all, a lot of people showed up for this girl's birthday dinner. It was over 12 people, probably over 15. I couldn't, I've never seen this many people at a birthday dinner at a restaurant in my life. As the night's <laughs> going, you know, people are buying their drinks and things like that. But when what I started noticing is people's orders. You know, I, I'm a very observant person. So I started noticing people's orders and people, they was ordering two and three appetizers, three and four drinks. Oh. Man. The best, biggest T-bone steaks with the gold <laughs> on it and, and this and truffle fries and this and this. Everybody was doing their thing. So something, I don't know what it was, at some point of the night after, you know, people was, you know, finishing up their plates and ordering their last drinks and stuff like that. I had to go to the bathroom, but something hit me on my way to the bathroom. Like, you know, just stop and pay for your meal. Just, just stop by the bar, pay for your meal, tip out, do that. That's what. Yo, he's smart. He dodged a bullet right there because, yo, by the looks of it, two or three appetizers per person? Nah, they looking at it like, hey, you over there ordering a the minimal amount of stuff? You about to pay for all this stuff I'm eating. He said, not today, baby, not today. I did. So by the time I go to the bathroom, pay for my bill, tip out and stuff like that, the waiter is coming around to the table wanting to know how we're going to do the bill because the bill can only get split two ways. And he made that very clear. The bill can only get split two ways. So the girl looks down at the other end of the table where we're sitting and she says, oh, well, two of the guests, they can put it on their car and everybody can cash app them and they can deal with the bill because I'm not worried about that. I'm the birthday girl. I what? heard it, but... Everybody around at the table act like they didn't. And I was completely not worried because, again, my bill is paid for, tipped and everything. I'm just kind of waiting on my homegirl. So <laughs> after time has gone past, nobody's putting up the card. Nobody is even touched. Nobody even touched the check. Right. So finally, a dude that was there, he opened it being funny. And it was over thirty five hundred dollars. That's how much the bill was. It was over thirty five hundred dollars. When he said that, I did thirty five hundred dollars, yo. You know a lot of people went there. They didn't have enough bread on them. You heard? And he don't even know Shorty directly like that? Nah. That's entitlement on a thousand. It was over $3,500. When he said that, I just busted out laughing. I don't know why I find <laughs> it to be so funny. I think it's because I knew it was about to be a shit show. So the person comes back around and notices that nobody's touching the bill. And it's like, hey, what are we doing about the bill? So she looks down towards our end again, which I don't know why she kept looking down towards our end. So finally, she's like, all right, well, who's going to um, put down on the bill? So I don't say nothing. My homegirl, she don't say nothing. And then so finally, another girl in the group was like, well, my homegirl, well, can we put it on your car and, you know, everybody just pay you back? My homegirl, she say no. Like, no, um, I'm not really comfortable with that. Da, 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 da. So things are starting to get heated now. There's a, a back and forth going between the restaurant, who's going to be paying, things like that. A lot of people are getting frustrated. Things are getting heated. So what do I do? I say, I'm going to excuse myself. Because first of all, I'm not about to be sitting in a, a, a food, restaurant, public setting and embarrass myself because y'all don't have...
together, right? I don't do that. I don't play that. My is already taken care of. My bill is taken care of, tipped out, tipped beautifully. My bill came up to a hundred and I'll never forget it was $115 without tip, right? right? So I was like, I'm going to excuse myself. Get up, leave, call the Uber and all. My homegirl, because that this is her friend. So she's staying trying to, you know, figure things out and stuff like that. Arguing things like that with people. I'm not doing that. So I excuse myself and I leave because y'all need to figure this out. What I feel he did wrong was not tell his homegirl what he was doing. He did it like he was scared to tell her. He should have said, yo, I would if I was him, I would have been like, hey, yo, look, listen, I was invited here and I'm really embarrassed by all of y'all. But just to let y'all know, I already paid my bill and I tipped the right amount. So with that being said, y'all have a wonderful night. Happy birthday, baby girl. And I'm out of here. You understand? And I'll tell my friend, hey, don't ever invite me outside again. You heard? As I'm getting up to leave, well, what are you doing? Well, why? How are you leaving? You need to help pay for this bill, things like that. The waiter, before I can even say that, the waiter's like, his bill's already taken care of. He took, you know, he paid his bill and tipped out almost 45 minutes ago. Everybody's shocked, looking like, I'm hitting the door by now. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out. I get, I get, by the time I get home, about an hour, I would say later, I get a long text message from my homegirl. I think that they, it was real rude what you did at my homegirl's birthday dinner. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that type of etiquette came from. Da, 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 da. I texted her back a simple I D C. And he did it. <laughs> yo, he giving me sassy vibes though. But yo, on that note, I don't disagree with him. But I would have handled it a little bit better. I'm not hiding. I'm showing you my cards. Hey, yo, look, check this out. Y'all all bugged out. I paid though. Y'all have a nice day. All right? Word. What y'all think about the whole situation right here? I don't think he was wrong at all. Do you think he was wrong? Y'all let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. I really believe they was trying to finesse him. That homegirl was part of the scheme too. If you ask me, she just tried to play stupid. Because why she got so upset about the whole situation? She should have just said, Oh, yo, I found out you paid for all of that. It's all good, you know what I mean? My homegirls was tripping, ah, ah, ah. But nah, that's not what she said. You heard? She took the defense of the other girl. So with that being said, you know she was part of it from the start. They had to find a fool, but he was not the fool that day, all right? So, hey, if you made it to this part of the video, you know what I'm going to say. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell. Let's